So in our last pentatonic video, we took you through the very basics of the music theory behind the pentatonic, how to build one, and also the initial chord form shape, the pattern, so to speak, of how it plays out on a fretboard. Let's take that a little bit farther now and put on what I like to call extensions. We're going to put on extensions on the back and the front side of that to help you climb up the fretboard so you're not just stuck in one spot. Let's go down to the fretboard and check it out and I'll show you what I mean. So let's review one more time what that basic pentatonic shape is, that basic form. We're going to play it all in A. It's one of the easiest keys to play in, right? So we remember from the first pentatonic video, it looks like this in the key of A. Right? Basic A pentatonic pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on wings, so to speak, or or little pieces on each end. We're going to put a little piece here and we're going to put a little piece here so you can start going vertically or climbing the fretboard. It creates musical tension, right? Help, helps your solos. So what we're going to do, we're going to, and a lot of them, it's, it's all in that little box pattern that we talked about in some of the earlier videos. What do I mean by box pattern? It's literally just four notes in a box like this. That's what I call a box. We're going to use that a lot. You can do a lot of cool easy licks in the box. So let's start out with the basic pentatonic with the wings on each end. It looks like this. So let's play through that one time real slow starting at the very bottom and work our way climbing up to the top. Let's go back down. Right, and that's all out of key of A. Let's do it a little faster, right? Right, so what can we do with this? We can use this to do a lot of climbing solos. Remember what we're doing here is we're going from one chord form shape to another. We're actually moving from first form bar chord to third form. Right? A to A. We're in that first form. Now we're in the third form. Pretty cool, right? So what can what's what's some cool licks? We'll just jam on it for a little bit. See what we can do out of it, right? Mm -hmm. Cool little blue shuffle type of thing, right? Pretty neat. One thing you want to watch whenever you're first working these up is fingering, right? There's two little intricate fingering places that you really want to watch. One of your climbing is right here, slide with this finger up. And here is this finger to slide because that puts you right in this position perfectly, right? And when you go down, Use your third finger to slide it down because it puts you in perfect position for this, right? Third finger on down. Right? Another cool thing you can use this in a lot of country stuff and blues make your stuff sound a real lot faster than what they really are is put the little chromatic half steps in the middle of it, right? Like check this out. Right, so how do you use the chromatics? Well, what, what can I do with those? Well, let's do, uh, let's do some, uh, some country stuff, right? See how that kind of makes it 
a little quicker, right? And it's not as boring as just. I mean, you can do a whole lot of stuff, bluesy stuff. See how those little half-step chromatics help kind of tumble you down instead of just... Ah, it's hard to almost, once you get into chromatics, it's almost hard to do it without them. And do it with the chromatics. See how that jazzes it up, spruces it up a little bit. It's very cool. So what else? I mean, just that's a very, very cool lick right there. You're just doing. I use that all the time. It's very neat. I mean, very, very cool. Use that all the time. Very neat. So there's a whole bunch of cool ideas. So, and the best way is just to literally sit around and just noodle. Learn the basic notes. So you can get used to just running them easy and then work on throwing the chromatics in. Eventually, you'll come up with a whole lot of really, really cool, useful licks. You use this all the time in blues, country, rock, punk, funk, fusion, anything. You use this all over the place. So I hope that helps you out. Get to practicing over and over and over. Thank you for watching. Make sure and subscribe. Check out our latest videos, our real-world guitar lessons, effects pedal reviews, and much, much more. We'll see you next time.